19 COVID stories. Corona Goggles, December 2020. Dad says the virus is like a secret weapon that the Chinese let out by mistake. But Mum says that's rubbish and the virus comes from China because they eat snakes and frogs and stuff. And then our Kev's farted and shouted, who fancies some Chinese then? I feel all hot. Not bad hot, just hot. Like when they left me in the car that time on holiday and the thing didn't make the window go down. So I got so hot I lay down on the floor and then Mum and Dad got back with our Kev's and Mum started crying. And Dad was shouting, Ops! hospital at people who couldn't speak English because they were Spanish and in hospital the nice nurse put that needle thing in my arm and it hurt but it had like a skinny hose pipe that went all the way up to this big bag of water high up on wheels and I ran around and made siren noises and all the grown-ups had to let me because I was ill I'm still hot we have to stay indoors all the time now I'm not allowed to run around anymore in the flat because we have to be quiet because Mrs Trimble in the flat downstairs complained again and Mr Turner phoned and said we was out of control and Dad shouted it wasn't our fault, it was because the government was locking us in. I wish we had a garden because Dad won't even let us play in the park. He said we have to stay in and watch the telly, which was brilliant at first, but it's boring now. But Dad said we have to park our bombs on the sofa and do our bit for Britain and he and Mum started laughing. I still feel all hot, not good hot. What I want to know is where is mum and dad? When I woke up in their room, they wasn't there. I bet they've gone out and they're not supposed to go out and it's against the law and they're going to get arrested and then where will we be? Our Kev's is sleeping in his room, but I'm not waking him up or he'll thump me. So I'm just going to sit right here next to the window and wait till they get back. Even if it is dark out and no one's walking up and down our street. But I don't care because I'm on guard duty and I've got my Corona goggles on and they make everything orange. But Kev says they're not Corona goggles, they're his sunglasses. But I was wearing them when they carried out old Mr Edges on that long carrying thing and put him in the ambulance. And he was lying on his back and his eyes was closed and just above his face was like this cloud. And I knew it was the virus, but no one else could see it. Not the ambulance blokes carrying Mr Edges, no one. So I knocked on the window, but Dad shouted at me to shut the fuck up. And our Kev's thumped me, so I did shut the fuck up. And the ambulance drive Mr Hedges away and I don't know where he is now. There's no fucking viruses getting in our flat because I'll see them and then I'll blast them dead with the antivirus spray mum gave me. I feel all hot and it's bad hot. Like when my breathing goes all scratchy and that thing gets stuck in my chest. No school is brilliant. When Mr Downing said we had to all go home, we all cheered. But Mrs Harris started crying and Mr Shazeev, well we gave her a hug because we all know he's secretly in love with her. And we all went home and we don't have to go back to school. But it's boring if you can't go out and all we do all day is watch films and the room gets full of smoke. And mum says dad shouldn't smoke in the flat but he says his mum and dad always smoked inside and it never did him any harm. Except for your asthma says mum. And dad told her to shut the fuck up but mum didn't shut the fuck up. She said that the nipper has asthma too and we should be careful. I'm feeling hot. Hot. Bad hot. I wanted to get a glass of water from the kitchen, but I felt all woozy, like when we visited that place called Jump and I had to stop having my go on the trampoline. So I came back to the window and I had a quick go on the respirator, but there's still something stuck in my chest that makes me make that whistling noise and I have to sit down quiet. That's what the lady who visits the school says. When you get it again, she said, find a quiet space. I thought she meant like in space, like an astronaut floating around, which is nice. They must be at the pub, but they can't be at the pub because all the pubs are closed. But when we was having our tea, Dad said tonight's a special lock-in, more like my kind of lock-in, a special Christmas lock-in. Him and Mum started laughing again, but it was that laugh I don't like, that laugh when they make a joke and they know I don't get it because it's, you know, grown-up stuff. But I know it was about the pub. Hot. 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 Everything's going all woozy again. 
come in corona goggles control. Do you see the virus cloud? Negative, virus control. Anyway, Dad said I'm all right because kids can't get the virus. Only old people like Mr. Edges die of it. But Mum said not if there's complications. And Dad said don't go on, woman. It's all propaganda. I feel hot in my head now. But it's nicer than hot all over. And that thing in my chest isn't stuck anymore. And, and if I breathe really slowly, it don't hurt. I've seen an aeroplane today. I ain't seen an aeroplane in ages. It was really high up and the sky was all blue and it had this long white streak behind it. Lucky I had my corona goggles on because I could see the street was a virus cloud stretching out behind the plane. And the lady at school was right about space because that's what the plane was doing. It was cleaning itself because the virus dies up in space where it's all clean and cold and nice. And if I close my eyes now, I'm a plane flying high, high up where it's all nice and cold and clean. And I'm so high, I'm getting dizzier and dizzier. And I can see them putting Mr Hedges in the ambulance. And Mrs Harris is crying again. And mum and dad are laughing. And there's no more school. Hooray! And I'm going higher and higher and higher.